Okay, so today we're going to be going over a problem that involves the income elasticity for an individual named Jeremy. We are given his consumption of coffee and donuts between 2008 and 2009 and his respective income for each year. So, what this question says is, look at the table, prices, quantity, demanded, and income for Jeremy. Between the two years listed, Jeremy's income elasticity of demand for coffee equals blank and donuts are a blank good. So, the first thing here we need to realize is that we're dealing with coffee. So, this information here is currently not that important. We're just looking at coffee for the moment. So, the first thing we're going to do after that is remember the equation for income elasticity. So, income elasticity of demand is written as elasticity equals percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in income. And a really easy way to remember how to write these for any elasticity problem, because every single one is going to be income elasticity of demand, price elasticity of demand, something, elasticity of something. So you can write that as x elasticity of y equals and then what you're going to get is your percentage change of y over your percentage change of x so the first one's going to go on the bottom and the top but the last second one's going to go on the top so it's an easy way to remember any of these elasticity things so in this case we have the percentage change quantity demanded over the percentage change of income so in this particular case, what we're going to do is the traditional way of finding everything. We have to find the percentage change quantity demanded. So first things first, how much coffee did he consume? 2008 was 12 and 13. So we're going to go 13 minus 12 over the base year. We get 1 over 12. Oh, 1 over 12. All right, we're going to do the same exact thing except for his income. So. 150 minus 100 over the base year equals 50 over 100. Um, the 1 over 12 is going to be a wacky percentage. 50 over 100, obviously 50%. So I'm going to write that as 1 over 12 times 100 over 50 would equal about 0.17. So that gives us our answer for coffee. The income elasticity demand for coffee equals 0.2. So right now we can go like this, cross off these two potential answers. Now we have to talk about something else because the question continues to go and donuts are A and blank good. So now we need to talk about normal goods and inferior goods and why they're different. So the definition of a normal good is any good that people want to consume higher quantities of as their income rises. An inferior good is something that as an, an, any individual acquires more income will actually demand less of. So the common joke for this is potatoes with the exception of the Irish famine. So in that case, or in that case only, potatoes were actually consumed more as people got more income and that's because that was the only food they had. It's a unique scenario, but usually those are the kind of goods you're talking about. You're talking about things like Topper Ramen, potatoes, things that you wouldn't choose to have consumed unless you had a low income. So in this case, we can look at how many donuts Jeremy consumed in each year in his incomes. So in 2008, Jeremy consumed 20 donuts with an income of 100. 2009, Jeremy consumed 18 donuts with an income of 150. So what that means is that as his income increased, he actually consumed less donuts which would mean it would have to be an inferior good. So that means that the answer is A, which is that the income elasticity of coffee is 0.2 and donuts are an inferior good. So we're going to circle A.